The story of the Choanoak Indians begins with the Algonquins. After migrating south along the Atlantic coast, they formed villages in northeastern North Carolina. In 1585, English artist John White accompanied an expedition to the shores of North Carolina, where he made a number of sketches depicting Algonquin life. The Choanoak, whose name means People of the South, were the largest and most powerful Algonquin tribe in North Carolina. Living in villages from the Neuse River to the Chesapeake Bay, their population at that time was estimated to be over 2,000 people. Following contact with the English, diseases like smallpox and measles reduced their numbers considerably because they had no natural immunity. Despite many hardships and challenges, the Choanoke did survive and did adapt to their rapidly changing environment. Navigating the Albemarle Sound, the Choanoak traveled inland along the Choan River, establishing their capital town in present-day Haroldsville, North Carolina, where, it appears, canoe inlets can be seen to this very day. After waging war against the ever-encroaching English settlers between 1674 and 1677, the Choanoak were assigned a reservation in Gates County between Bennett's and Catherine's Creeks of 11,650 acres. This creek was used as a highway for the Indian people and is still used by the Choanoak people today for recreational purposes and in remembrance of their ancestors. The Choanoak people survived by adapting and by maintaining their communities. They became business owners, clergymen, soldiers, politicians, and inventors, and through it all, remained Indian people. The cities of Gatesville and Edenton play large roles in the history of the Choanoke people. It's through the numerous court and governmental records found there that the story of the Choanoke can be told. From their 18th century land sales through the Gian Miller applications of the early 20th century. In 1792, the sale of the last parcel of Choanoke Reservation land was approved by the state of North Carolina. The land sold was in an area of Gates County called Indian Neck, and some of them purchased a 30-acre tract where they could continue living together as they always had. Continuing the struggle, Choanoke descendant Marvin T. Jones applied for and was granted a North Carolina State Historical Marker. Following this, Choanoke descendants acquired a 146-acre tract of the old reservation land in Gates County to honor their ancestors and to host tribal and cultural events. A dedication on that land was held in October 2014.
Today it has truly come full circle. Once displaced from the only land they knew, Choanoke descendants can now walk in the footsteps of their ancestors.